Well, the holiday movie season is now upon us. That includes the new film, I Want to Dance with Somebody. And as our Yuki Washington reports, it's the story of the rise and fall of the late Whitney Houston, and a Philly born actress plays a major role in this project. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Whitney Houston! It's gonna feel like a big concert mixed with some really personal moments. There's a boy I know. He's the one I dream of. What's your name again? Whitney Elizabeth Houston. This highlights Whitney the human, Whitney the person, Whitney the mother, the daughter, the the wife, the girlfriend. In particular to my character, Robin Crawford, I just really want people to know uh, the important, influential role that she played in Whitney's life. Wait, y'all, what? It's on, it's on, this is on. The she is Robin Crawford, who according to extensive family research and interviews for the film, was Whitney's lover, friend, and confidant. We've heard things here and there, um, but there's, there's, you know, never been any confirmation of anything, and that's what this movie is going to highlight, their relationship in its full entirety, and what they meant to each other. The film means a great deal to Nathisa, and so has the journey from a row home to the red carpet. Nafisa, look at you, a Philly girl. I'm so proud of you. I was born in West Philly. I graduated from Lamberton High School, and then I went to Delaware State University, then transferred and graduated cum laude from Westchester University. Go ahead now. <laughs> I interned going into my last year of college at the DA's office in the homicide unit, and I just realized that it wasn't my calling, Yuki, and, and I just, I promised myself, to just go and do it, and that was acting. The Philadelphia native saw rejection when first starting, but she stuck with it. And then here we are. In a film featuring British actress Naomi Aki as the iconic Whitney Houston on the stage and off. Uh, common criticism of you, your music isn't black enough. Look, I don't know how to sing black, and I don't know how to sing white either. I know how to sing. Woo! I watched how hard she worked. I watched her transform every single day. Naomi is a superstar. I watched her alongside on set embody Whitney. And it was moments, Yuki, where I would just like be crying on set. As you could imagine, it's like you can feel Whitney's energy and her spirit and her essence. Which was accompanied by an amazing cast, including veteran Stanley Tucci playing the vital role of the man who discovered Whitney, recording executives. Clive Davis. I had the honor of meeting film director Casey Lemons on another project a few years ago. She just made us feel really safe as an artist. The more safe you feel, the more free and vulnerable you are to come out and really play as an artist. And now it's your turn to see the artist known as Whitney Elizabeth Houston. Go and see the movie this weekend. Uh, if you don't have chills, I don't know what to tell you. The movie looks to capture Houston's triumphs and her tragedies. Naomi is lip syncing in the film, but her own voice, a very accomplished voice by that, but as a matter of fact, was actually blended to a point under the recorded tracks. I Want to Dance with Somebody is in theaters right now.